Hi, beautiful. How you doing? You look scrumptious. Thank you for being here. Oh, it was Halloween yesterday, but whatever. We're doing some Halloween today. We're watching some girls color their hair Halloween themed. Actually, not just girls, guys also. So these people do really, really interesting, intricate hair colors, and I'm excited to see how they come out. I am basically a Halloween baby born on October 28th, so this is what I want today, and we're doing it. So let's get it started. Gulp, gulp. All right, our first video today is by Chris Clemens, and this is dyeing my hair for Halloween. I know Chris is known to do some pretty interesting things to his hair, so I'm excited to see what happens today. So yeah, I wanted to dye a spider web on my hair, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna be facing one of my biggest fears, and I'm going to have a real life tarantula on my head to complete the spider web. He's gonna put a tarantula on his head. Oh, I don't want a tarantula anywhere near my head ever. I'm gonna go bleach my hair off camera because it's nothing exciting, but I will see you guys with bleach hair. Okay, so we're starting off with bleaching the head. Perfect. We'll have a blank canvas to start our work of art on whatever he's about to create. I am gonna be doing a lime green base with black web. I'm just gonna get into the purple hair dye. Oh my god, I can't even do a straight line. This is gonna be so hard for him to make this precise on his own head. He's gonna try to make a web and then color it all in with green. How's that gonna work? So all we really need to do is just keep praying. It might have been easier for him to just do the whole head green first and then do the web on top, but this is definitely another way of doing it that's gonna make it a lot more complicated for him. How do I see the side of my head? Maybe next time I would recommend doing a line going from here to here, then a line from here to here, and then like cutting it out like a pizza instead of doing each line forward first. Might have been easier. I have... You know, the uh, work of this web. <laughs> Imagine walking around with this hair color. That's commitment. When I tell you I don't know how to like use a mirror, I don't know how to use a mirror. It really does show that you don't know how to use a mirror. I just thought I'd do a check-in. Oh! <laughs> Wait, this is actually really cool. The best part is that his like hairline is outlined, so it makes it look like he's wearing some kind of weird toupee, I think. He needs another line on each side of his head. Like, why is it blank right here? What are we doing with that? All right, I have the yellow and the green. We're just gonna mix them up. I'm not really sure if this is gonna be the easiest or the hardest part of- He's gonna try and fill this all in right now with green. Why are you making this so hard for yourself? You're gonna try and do the back of your head and color in those little square triangle things. This is going to be so difficult, but it is looking cool. I think I have officially finished this. Ooh! I'm kind of into this. This can all go away in the shower. Stay tuned. Say a quick prayer and I will see you guys after said shower for the grand reveal. Oh, I'm excited to see this. So guys, are you ready for the grand reveal of the hair? Because I don't think you are. You know why? Because it all washed the f What? I was so excited. Yo, this sucks. Why is black color rinsing out of your hair is the real question. What are you using to do this? Because that should never happen. Your hair is probably very healthy since it's like literally one centimeter, millimeter even, long. So there's no reason it should be just falling out like that. Use a different color line or something. I don't know. That seems weird. All right, well, it's on. Okay. It's shedding a little bit of web too. Oh, thank God. I don't ever want this. I mean, it did complete the look though. I'm not gonna lie. It did pull it all together quite nicely. <laughs> Ew. Happy Halloween. I don't think anyone can be more scared than I am. Let's just sum this up really quick. It was a fail, Chris. Maybe use something different next time that actually works for your hair. The spider did complete the look, so I will give it like a six out of 10 just because of the commitment to the spider. That kind of saved it. But otherwise it was pretty bad. <laughs> Good luck next year. All right, up next we have a video by The Bat Babe. Uh, this is called Spider Webs and Slime Hair Color Tutorial. I'm gonna shave the sides of my head and I will see you guys in a minute. Oh, I actually don't hate it to be honest with you. You make it work. Sides of my head are nice and smooth. So we have the side shave. We have a little like moment going on on each side. We have a little bit of, a lot of bit of root. With doing the roots of my hair first. Thank God, okay, we're doing the roots. Lightener on the sides of my head because I've got such tiny little baby hair there and this will take longer to lighten. It honestly looks so cute, just blonde. This came out good. So now we're doing red going on here, like a salmon color. And then we're 
we're doing green. Ooh, this really like nasty looking tree green. I like it. It's very Halloween. Purple and yellow. Wow, she really is going off and get and saying we're gonna do very much a Halloween inspired look today. And I appreciate the commitment. Now we're doing the sideburn thingies. She's got yellow on the top, yellow on the bottom, orange on the top, orange on the bottom. She committed to the look. I think I'm going to do drips with the color coming down and then go over like the edge of the drips in black. So we're doing this all yellow and green. Is this gonna be like a Halloween rainbow on this side? I might make it like red to orange and I might go around the edges of the purple drips once I'm done with red to tie it in. Cause I can't just have like red in one spot and not have it anywhere else. Wait, so how did we end up with flames now? The concept of this look has changed 500 times since we started. My method of going about this, I'm gonna start up here and you know. This is such commitment to the look. Good for you, my love. So we're doing a spider web on top of this Halloween theme color. I hope this comes out good because this is way too much work for it not to be good. Uh, what happened in the front there? It came out so good. I'm so Oh good. my God. Those oh my bangs God. are the coolest. Oh God, it turned out so good. And I'm so happy because there was a moment there that I was a little afraid that was hitting the fan. I was taking a shower and I just see colors and I just see red and I'm like, what? And I'm like looking and I'm like, that doesn't look like it should. And my bangs, I'm so glad that like the purple from the bangs didn't bleed onto the yellow. Like, see, you can put dark colors next to light colors and things be perfectly fine. The bangs are the best part. They came out so good. The way you style them and the way they're so shiny and beautiful, I am obsessed. These sides of your head, we could have just done a little bit better. The black did bleed a lot, which is unfortunate, but sometimes it just happens. I wish the lines were just a little sharper and maybe like less lines next time. Maybe just like three little pieces connecting the webs. That way things don't bleed too much. And then the other side, maybe like doing a brighter color as like the underneath of the drip would make it look better. It looks like flames to me because you used red, but like, hey, you look incredible and I love your Halloween look. Let's move on to the next person. Up next, we have a video by Alyssa Nicole and this is Split Dime my hair for Halloween. So my plan in this video is doing half and half orange and black for Halloween. Ooh, that's a transformation. So I am planning on having the orange on this side. So I will be- We're gonna have to bleach that shit, huh? Side, this is pretty much my natural hair color. Definitely not your natural hair color, I'll tell you that much. You can tell it's not your natural hair color by any means. For the black side, I'm just gonna use Manic Panics Raven. This is the black hair dye that I have always used. It is a semi-permanent, so it does fade fast. We love a semi-permanent moment because it's just so fun to like be able to change your hair color so much. And yes, semi-permanent color is supposed to fade fast, guys. That way you can change it all the damn time. People always tell me the semi-permanent color they use fades so fast. And I'm like, if you don't want it to fade so fast, use a demi-permanent color. That's what it's there for. And then I have two different oranges I just don't know how this one's gonna work out. It's not going to work. My head and then I'm going to use the L'Oreal high color highlights in the color copper and I'm not too sure how this is going to show up. I don't know if it's gonna be bright enough. So if it's not as orangey as I would like it, I'm gonna use the Arctic Fox Sunset Orange. I think that the high color is a high lift color, which means you can't put a high lift color over already colored hair. It doesn't work like that. So probably gonna do nothing or a little something that you don't want. But yeah, not the right color choice, but the Arctic Fox one, Totally, you can use that. So we're bleaching away and we're starting right at the root, which is not ideal. Those are gonna get really light and her ends have so much color on them, which means she would need to like get that out first because it's just gonna be such a mess. The heat from her scalp is gonna make her roots really warm and her ends really orange and nasty. And she'll be lucky if she even gets that. It looks like box dye in her hair. You can see my virgin hair is of course super blonde. And then of course this turned like a red color like my hair always does and then the rest is kind of like an orangey brown. Bottom part's kind of brown. This will be light enough for me to do the next hair color. I wouldn't say that's light enough to do the next step because you want your hair lifted to the orange stage in order to put orange onto it. And right now it's more at the red stage. So it's going to be uneven. I mean, the black is looking nice and black and it's going to cover up everything that she has going on right now. So it should be good. And also the other side looks a little 
more orange in this lighting, so we're making decent progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and dye this side, and then you keep it on for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to wash my hair. So now we're going in with the high lift color, which is meant to go over natural hair, like hair that hasn't been colored, and it's gonna lighten her roots even more. Here's the orange. It's not quite as bright as I would like. Like, it's a little dark right here, but it is a nice, like, gingery orange. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start styling my hair, do my makeup, and I will give you guys the final result. So the high lift color, like, sort of worked, and I'm very confused. I often get confused by things like this, so. Okay, guys, here is the result of my hair. What? At least sitting outside, so I'm sorry if the... What? It's loud, but this is the only way I was able to get the good lighting. So here is what this side looks like. Dude, let's break this down. So it somehow worked out. I really don't understand how, but I'm happy for her. This color is really fun. Obviously doesn't look professionally done. It has quite a few errors going on, but that's okay. Who the f*** cares? As long as you love it and it's presentable and it looks nice. Would have made your life a little bit easier if you did it correctly next time and didn't start at the roots and got all that darkness out of the midsections. But it looks decent enough and it's very Halloween themed and I did it. Our next video is by Crystal Lindy. How you doing, girl? Dying my hair Halloween themed and it looks horrifying. So now that my hair is short and blonde again, I can start dyeing it in a very fun way. Yeah, what are we doing? Look, those are little ghosts. That's kind of adorable. I hope she can pull it off. For the hair color, I'm going for night shade, which is a very dark purple. Since I do actually want it to look good, I am going to uh, draw some ghosts. So she's drawing them in with eyeliner first and then going around it. That makes sense. But it's like also skin colored eyeliner. So I don't know how that's gonna help anything. Why even outline it if it's gonna look like that? It looks like a blob. It look like a ghost. Oh my God, I don't think so at all. You need to make them bigger. That way you have more space to do like the wavy line. This already looks a lot better than the previous one. This ain't it, girl. Yeah, I got myself a beautiful mirror. So hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier for me now to draw on some ghosts. You're gonna try and do this in the mirror. You're gonna try and draw a ghost in the back of your head. <laughs> this is getting spooky. Let me show you the results that I have right now. Please pull it together somehow, please. Dye the rest of my hair purple. Now we're gonna color in the rest, which is hopefully gonna be the easy part for her. Lee, I am just dyeing my scalp again. These definitely do not. No, <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like a ghost. I am just going to draw some cute faces on these ghosts and maybe I can make them look a little bit better. Aww. I mean, it's kind of cute. Did you put a smiley face? No. No. I Accidentally, oh god, look what I did. I wanted to make a happy ghost, but I look so sad now. <sighs> Same girl. Since there's no way going back now, I'm just going to let this sit in my hair for about 30 minutes and I'm going to rinse it out. And then we can see the actual final end result, which is most- Too much, you did too much. Not going to look better than it's looking right now. Ah, it is spooky. I mean, you can definitely see that this is a Halloween inspired hairdo. All the purple blood, all of it. It looks Horrifying. You said it, girl, not me. Oh no. So, um, I think I'm just gonna go and cry a little bit and think about how I'm going to try and fix this mess because I do not want to walk on this earth looking like this. Just call her all purple at this point because it is a mess. This is probably the worst thing I've ever done to my hair. Oh, Crystal, I've seen you do quite a few things to your hair and this is 100%, like you said, by far the worst thing. We're gonna need to color it all purple or bleach it out. I don't know. It's really tough and I'm sorry it's happened to you. Don't try that again. That looks way too complicated. I feel like that photo you saw was like Photoshop or something. I don't know. Well, those were definitely some interesting Halloween looks. I think that I didn't have a favorite today because they were all kind of messy. There was something wrong with every single one of them. I mean, at least they gave it a try. It's fun, they said, but they didn't come out quite great. Anyways, you guys, make sure you subscribe right down below. Click the bell icon and the like button. Make sure you guys text me. This is my real number. Yes, I really do get your texts. Yes, I really see all your texts. And yes, I will be replying to a few of you guys 
guys if you text me right now. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. These are all my social media handles. Go for it. Ooh. <laughs> Check out Xmondo Hair. We have another new product dropping very soon on November 5th. I know, we are coming out with a lot of stuff that we've been working on for the past year and it's finally all coming out and I'm so excited. Follow us on Instagram at Xmondo Hair or click on the website at Xmondo Hair. You can also shop our brand new for shampoos and conditioners. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Rachel and she says, hi, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair, but I'm not sure what color I should dye it. Could you give me some advice? Rachel, I think you should go platinum blonde. Icy white, it will look so good with your skin tone. It will make your hair look more full and thicker and maybe even cut a bang, like a straight cross moment like I kind of have right now. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Ooh, hello girl, hello. But yeah, give it a try. And if you end up doing it, let me see it. Send me a picture of I'd love to see how it went. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.